Welcome back everyone. Uh, it's uh, time to get our second legendary weapon in chapter 12x. So let's check out the little story prompt we get. Following Elfin's guidance, Roy heads for a cave near Jute to obtain a legendary weapon. But Roy and company aren't the only ones who know of the cave. Yet another battle awaits them. I think that means more bandits. I wonder if every fucking legendary weapon is gonna be guarded by just bandits. Like, this was actually cooler in uh, FE7, you know? With the ghost of the previous uh, owners or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing battle preps off screen. Be back in a second. Alright, welcome back everyone. We are, uh, we are of the ready. We have a strategy and we have our turn one planned. This is the end of the cave treasure. Where are you? Answer me. Boss, are you sure about this? The men from Burn just told us to block the entrance. If they catch us now, they'll surely have our back in have us back in chains. You fool will do as we're told in time. They'll never know that we took the treasure. I don't know how this is guy supposed to talk. If we block the entrance without taking the treasure, it's all the same anyway. Do you really want the poor treasure trapped in here for all eternity? Well, when you put it that way, I guess you're right. Boss, there's an army station outside the cave. Whoa! They want to take our treasure, do they? Have the boys near the entrance take them out. And grab all the treasure chests. We rightfully stole them first. Alright, a legendary weapon lies in this cave. It's so dark in here. According to the scholar in Jutes I spoke to, the legendary weapon in this cave is most likely the Thunder Axe, Armads. Armads, an axe this time. Armads was wielded by Durban the Berserker, who was said to be a colossal, colossus of a man. A single blow from his axe surely made short work of any opponent. Elfin, you seem to know a lot about the eight legends and their weapons. I'm a bard. It is my job to know myths and legends. I'd like to hear some of them when we have the time. Of course. Lord Roy, it seems we are not alone in this cave. We aren't? There are also noxious fumes coming from the cave walls. We must tread lightly. We have a strategy involving those fumes. So first we just have Kath run forward with a torch. We're bringing two thieves this time. So I said last chapter we're not going to use Kath, but it turns out that in this very chapter we are using Kath. Which is um, ironic, I suppose. But it, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. So let's see. The, uh, the plan here, I've actually checked out all the chests and the plan is... Uh, to open this chest and uh, this chest and this one and this one and this one and this one and the one up here. The other ones contain pretty much useless items. We are also very much conspiring to have Lilina heal every single turn uh, if we can because we really want to get her staff rank up. I'm still like <laughs> very stubbornly trying to increase that to uh, make it useful somehow. Nice. Uh, Clarine can go here. Archer will probably go for her, but that's fine. It's not gonna hit. Uh, let's see, Astor. Uh, we can just... Uh, we'll take this guy's lockpick. That's the plan. So this is our turn one. The thief still won't attack us. He'll just run away. I think. I've never seen the thieves attack anyway. Any EXP from that, huh? Oh, that's good, that's good. Uh, Asper just has to not get hit by both these guys, but the Axe guy has like uh, 14 hit on him, so it's really unlikely he gets hit there. Th so that's a good item, that's something we actually want. Uh, we gave Shanna a chest key so she can open the uh, chest on the. Uh, at the end of the path here, this chest. Uh, because she's gonna be fighting solo all the way through these guys, pretty much. Uh, Deke is going to escort uh, Kath up here. So, let's see here. Let's see what we do. 
Uh, this guy has to die. We're not in a hurry down here, so Shauna will take care of this uh, on her own. Yeah, that will do. Work on that sword rank as well. If we get her to C, she can use Killing Edges, which is uh, pretty good. Let's see, how much movement? She can needs to catch this guy, right? That's the plan, anyway, so... Uh, make sure Deke is in front, uh, and then she can move along. This chest... Uh, oh yeah, I need to do something here. We'll just take this guy's lockpick, and then Shanna can open this chest. So something really cool I noticed is that even if you don't have Merlinus with you, you can still send items to him, which is, uh, that's pretty cool. I thought that wouldn't be the case, but it is, so that's nice. Let's see, what can Roy do? Roy can fight this guy. Um, he's not great at fighting that guy, though. Uh, this will kill... Can we? No, of course that doesn't do any. <laughs> doesn't do any better. We'll just do this. It's an okay move. Lilana will heal here. We cannot box with Clarine. She has one movement too little, which I guess is sort of an argument for giving her the uh, guiding ring before. So we don't want to be in this guy's range because uh, Astor might die, so we'll put Astor here. These guys have almost no hit on Cat, so I don't feel like this is a very risky strat at all. Alright, Astor got hit. Yeah, thieves are just running away when they can't uh, deal anything because uh, I took their lockpick away. Let's see, if you notice cut, it was because my fucking controller unplugged again. <laughs> I'm gonna put that uh, new cord on a fucking high prio. Let's see, uh, Kath just moves up. So this is the guy we want Kath to catch up to. Which doesn't seem like it's gonna happen, actually. It could happen. Could happen. Take this guy out. Kath moves along here. Oh. Shanna opens this chest. Thank you. Don't need that right now. Then we just block this path here. Roy can actually kill the archer this time. And Rutger can take out this uh, tougher guy here. And he actually misses? No. <laughs> it would be slightly funny if it did. But not really that funny. Roy gets a kill. Yeah. Mm. People often complain that Roy is too weak in this game. Uh, I don't really think he is. Uh, I mean, he is not strong. I'm not saying he's strong at all. I really don't think he is. But I don't think his like lack of good stats make the makes the game any less fun. I really don't. I um... in fact, I think the game would be less fun if Roy was stronger because you wouldn't need to protect him as much. And protecting him is a big part of the challenge in this game. Shanna doing great here. Doubling the Myrmidon, that's right. There's so many unpromoted enemies in this game. I think only the boss is promoted. Has like no hit on Clarine. Oh no, he hit me with a hand axe. It's so rare to see a hand axe hit in this game. <laughs> so let's see here. Uh, Shanna is boxed in, but it's no problem. Like, uh, uh, we wanna attack the hand axe guys. Let the other ones suicide into her. Like so. Mm, we have these. Kath wants to run as far as possible here. And then Deke 
go, so let's just make sure she's out of these guys' range, yeah. And then the protects her from the Myrmidon here. How are we doing here? We're doing pretty well. Heroic kill? Probably not. Nope. Uh, he cannot. Uh, this is one of the chests we want, actually. So... Hmm. I guess we open it right now. Hmm, do we care with Clarine afterwards? Um, I guess we'll attack with Roy. Here. Just get some EXP. And Lil and I can attack here. We couldn't really do it in the opposite order because uh, Lilina just killed him, right? Oi. One, two, three, four, five, six. There. Here we go. Get a torch. Very nice. I don't think uh, we are actually gonna use all the torches we are getting. <laughs> Uh, but we'll see, maybe there are a fuck ton of Fuggle War maps in this game. I'm familiar with the units and the story and everything, but I do not know all the maps. So we'll see, we'll see. What the hell, dude? What the hell? That is so unlikely. Alright, we're gonna try again, we're gonna try the exact same strat, uh, so <laughs> stay tuned. Alright, hello and welcome back. We're gonna try the exact same thing. Um, I mean, it almost worked out last time, right? I, If I understand how the RNG in this game works correctly, then we'll have to just... We'll just do whatever we did for the first few turns, and then we'll burn some RNs, uh, and see if uh, we get a different, like, seed. Uh, because I think the way it works is that even if I try again, uh, the, uh, the RNG is gonna be the exact same. Like, here, I crit on the first attack, like... Does that mean I have the exact same RN? I think it does. But it certainly could mean that, right? So, we're just gonna try all this stuff again, and then we'll see if, uh, we can get a different seed somehow. So, here we go. Clarine doesn't really need EXP right now. Her staff rank is a good enough. Uh, it's at a B. Uh, so when she promotes, it's gonna jump up to A. And uh, she is a pretty good candidate for the next uh, guiding room. It could have been fun to use Ray, actually. It could have been really fun to use Ray. Dark magic seems pretty cool, especially if you can get one of those Eclipse Tomes, uh, set an enemy to one health. I guess. I guess that's so unreliable though, because they only have one, um, they only have 10 hits. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Take this guy out. Can we take him out with the axe? Uh, maybe. It's nice reliable, but it's okay if it lives. Get some axe rank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why is Shanna in such a different position? Did I do something different? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I could should. I guess I could have just checked my own recording if I really wanted. Oh yeah, she probably went here, like so. Uh, so now I accidentally burn an iron, but whatever. We'll just uh, we'll just play the game the normal way. Like fuck this shit. Fuck this shit! I can't talk today, what the hell. Kill this guy. All the important stuff went uh, according to plan anyway. I'm not used to having staff be the first option. I always uh, I always think Lilina is about to attack there. Okay, let's see again. Uh, this guy goes here, so Aster goes here. So don't get attacked by him, because he could kill him. There we go. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Shanna's gonna make short work out of these guys. So now Kath gets this kill. She probably levels up. Yep. <laughs> That's really silly. But uh, it doesn't matter. It's really not a problem, it's kind of just funny. It's also really funny that you can just take lockpicks from enemy thieves. And they can't take them back, that's kind of weird, right? So, Azure took damage, that's good. Let's see, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, so he could suicide on Kath. That's not a problem. Uh, or we just put Deke here. But now Kath needs to dodge this guy, right? 21. No, she'll survive. Uh, we'll attack the Hand Axe guy. Because Shanna still can't one around these guys. Which is a shame, maybe I gave the uh, energy ring the wrong uh, unit. I might have. It's really hard to know, right? Iron Soul! He would have 100 hit if I moved uh, me first, but I didn't want to. <laughs> and we're going to not heal the Clarine because we want the. Uh, Lily not to get the staff rank. Let's check Lorene actually. Yeah, she's on B and a half ish. Like she'll be fine. Probably just attack this guy if we can. We don't care about the EXP on uh, Astor, but why not? Apparently, there's a ranking system in this game, and EXP is part of the rank. So. Oh yeah, during this battle prep, I discovered there's a new option in the battle preps menu, that, which is called Augury, where Lalum lives for some reason. And you can ask her about a bunch of stuff, and she will say how you're doing. I think that's rank that she's talking about, but she doesn't say what rank you're at. She only says stupid shit like, uh, keep doing what you're doing, or you're doing really well, or you're not doing so well. So it's really unclear, like, what you still have to do, which I don't like. Alright, we're doing A-OK -okay over here. So I think we're already in a different world because the RNG has changed, but we're just gonna do this. So now we're definitely in a different world, right? Uh, let's see, uh, these guys all have hand axes, so we're going to attack them. We're fine for HP, like they have zero hits. This guy has one hit. <laughs> Let's attack him first, I guess. Wait, this guy's injured? Oh yeah, we attacked the hand axe guy. Can we one run anyone? We can't. Uh, I guess we should kill him then. Because the hand axe guys only die on player phase, so we should attack them. Here we need to escort Kath, so we really need to kill this guy. That's not reliable. We're gonna use the Iron Sword here. We could pop a uh, an elixir, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't this give any avoid? No. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, Roy can get this one. Oh yeah, this is the one Roy can't get actually. Yeah, we'll just uh, let Walker do it. Is that right? Let's see, let's open that one. We do want to get the uh, elixirs back, but hmm. see if we crit. Nah. <laughs> nah. I guess we'll do this the same way, and then Lil and I can just catch up to Rutger next turn to heal him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boost Roy so we don't slow down too much. 
It's really fun to try to get a low turn cam in this game, in most Fire Emblem games actually. And the other axe guy will go for Kath, but it should be okay. Shanna's working wonders down here. Very nice. The enemies give so little EXP though, because none of them are promoted. Do I even kill those two? I don't know if I'm gonna have the time. Ooh, it's gonna be really hard to catch that guy now. We'll see if we can box him with this group later. Very nice. Does this guy have anything? No. Uh, so... I guess Astro just goes here now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, it should be fine, depending on when it activates. The plan here is to have Astro get poisoned, and then uh, Lil and I would just keep healing him. Does he one round here? No, he doesn't at all. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this actually went really poorly. <laughs> <laughs> this went really poorly. One, two, three, four, five. So here. So if Kath goes here. Alright, so I guess we're missing two elixirs. Um, we need Shanna to hurry up to get here and then grab this one. So she's just not gonna kill these guys. She has two chest keys, and she needs both of them. Uh, because Kath just slowed down a lot here, so we have to just keep going, kinda. Hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. Let's see, so how far do we need to boost Troy? One, two, three, four, five, six. Why does he keep attacking Clarine when he can't hit her? What a silly enemy. Pandax Fiesta! Pandex Fiesta. Oh? What was that? What the hell was that? You don't even get to see what it is if you're in fucking Fog of War? You don't have animations on? That's silly. Go that way. I hope he gets poisoned. Uh, least psychotic Fire Emblem player. Let's see. That's perfect. Oh man. And then Lil and I will just spam heal on him for the rest of the map. Assuming he does get poisoned. So avoid 57, hit 67. So assuming... Uh, I, I think their support makes it so he actually can't hit at all. We'll do that. We have really poor vision here. Uh, I will go there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... We're gonna do this. I think Roy will be safe here. Uh, it's just a fucking archer. Red gem, that's what we want. Uh, yeah, this guy is not that strong. Uh, let's see here. He has full health. Wait, is this it? Oh! That's the guy we wanna steal from! Well, let's see. Uh, inventory almost full. We'll give something to Deke. Oh, he also has a full inventory. I guess we can just steal one thing. We'll steal the elixir. And this guy wants to hand axe Kat, so it's unlikely he succeeds, but we'll kill him anyway. Very nice. Oh, there's a druid up there. I bet he cast Eclipse. 
And that's what that was the thing I couldn't see when uh, Clarine was attacked. Oh ho ho! He's probably gonna try to eclipse again with zero hit. Excellent. We're level 18? No, 16. I can count. Roy is really bulky now with the. Um... But why didn't he get poisoned? What the hell? Uh, I guess I'll just stay there for now. Let's see, so we actually can't take anymore. We don't have any more space in the inventory unless we throw something away, but that sort of defeats the purpose, right? What's he got? Eclipse. Physic and Nosferatu. Uh, we don't reach him. This is unlikely to kill. Hmm. I feel like we need to do something about this guy. Um. Hmm. He's in range, so we can kill him next turn, probably. Yeah, we're done here, right? Uh, unless we throw away torch because we got an extra one maybe uh i think not i think we just fucking kill this guy oh i guess not <laughs> no damage that's satisfying so this guy can't do anything if we just stay here um what's our range here hmm I kind of want to just carry Roy, right? But it's too risky to bring them in range of this guy. What's his hit rate with this? Plus 60, we're at 94 hits. So it's kind of likely it's Clarine, right? Especially if she's carrying Roy. We'll slow down a little bit. We'll slow down a little bit. We'll let Roy kill the archer. Uh, because Rutger doesn't have anything useful to do this turn anyway. Uh, we can still move Kath. I don't want to move her up. I don't uh, want her to be in range of this guy's uh, Nosferatu. Which I guess she was last turn and he still didn't go for it. You really make- Oh! Now he goes for it! What the hell? I don't know how the AI, you know, thinks about hit rates. I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't understand it. So, how do we kill this guy? Lightbrand? No. This guy super kills Roy. Can Rutger kill him? Uh, yeah, but he might heal here. So, I guess... If you use the Silver Sword and then he... This, he Nosferatu is full heal in this game, isn't it? I guess we should use this for the highest chance of a kill. Uh, we also want to do this, right? Heal Roy. So I guess we do this, right? Highest chance of a kill. Very nice. Now the goal is to bring Roy to the thrones. We can seize. Break the rapier. From now on, Roy's gonna have to use normal weapons like everyone else. Bring Lilna here because I really hope the poison is gonna happen. <laughs> really hope so. Uh, Cav can come along too, I guess. Bring these two to Lilna, maybe? Uh, it's a little too late. We're almost at the end of the map. Almost at the end of the map. Yeah, she should not have went in this direction. I should have brought her here instead. Should have brought her here. No fucking poison spray. Alright. Cash. Uh... Final chest that we want. Got yeah, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah, so we missed one, but it's whatever. So let's see. Uh, Rutger goes here. Uh, this guy has a hand axe, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Did we save any time by picking up Roy? 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so if we hold him, then we drop him in range next turn. Yeah, that's better. We'll have to go here. Yeah, I guess Little Nash is just gonna move on at this point. There will be things to, for her to heal on the next two turns, and Astro doesn't need to stand here anymore. Nice. Oh, strength level, that's awesome. That's a fucking awesome level. And now the poison comes. Great. <laughs> it, should just, it should just activate when you stand in front of it. Like, what is the purpose of this? Uh, here... Wait. Heal here. It is kind of nice in the newer games, so you can just move on to an allied target, or an allied space, and that will let you just heal instantly, you don't have to stop next to them, or whatever. Deke doesn't kill. What the hell? Iron Blade? Uh, that's pretty good. We'll use the Iron Blade. Like so. Uh, and now we just want to move Rutger up, really. Uh, Killing Edge. There should be a guy here. These guys don't move. Oh, a Devil Axe! That's awesome! Uh, can Roy fight that? Uh, he only has a Light Brain right now, so no. Ooh, let's do this for support. Uh, Shanna can go here. Why not? So we're almost at the end. Huh. I really thought there was another Hand Axe guy here. Maybe I killed them all, or maybe he just didn't come along for whatever reason. Uh, so let's heal Eek. He's not gonna contribute here, probably. Uh, he could kill this guy for EXP. Shanna can't fly over this, really? Very interesting. Uh, so... I think we want to prioritize EXP on uh, Lilana's staff skill, actually. Actually, we can just heal Shanna in that case, because she doesn't reach anyone. So she goes here, then we heal her. And now Deke can actually fight as well. Uh, we kill this guy. Very nice. And now the victor music starts playing. I don't know what the threshold is. I guess when there are two enemies left. <laughs> It's very likely we kill this guy if we crit once. Uh, that's 42. It's not guaranteed though. Uh, and let's see, this guy could crit us actually. But he only does 21. Let's go for it. Guerrero can't fucking talk. He's as good as I am. <laughs> Maybe it's a noob let's player. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Yeah! Why does he communicate in fucking grunts when he fights, instead of the like weird speaking pattern he had uh, previously? I don't know. Well, we beat the map, so we'll do one last heal here. And then we're gonna cease. I think that's it, that's all we could do, right? So we made it! Yeah, we're definitely done here. The other chests just have nonsense items in them, so let's get it. Let's check the turn. Turn 11. Alright, not too bad. Boom! Where's the legendary weapon? Hmm, I hear wind blowing from behind the throne. What? I can't hear it. A niche between the floor and the wall. Oh, it opened. So this is the legendary weapon? This axe is enormous. Armads, the very axe wielded by Durban the Berserker. It certainly appears fit for a warrior of his stature. So we have Tiny Manlet Roland and Huge Giga Chad uh, Durban. <laughs> Report! I have a message from Etruria. A revolution has broken out in Aqu A A A Aquileia. Aquileia. A revolution has broken out in Aquileia, capital of Etruria. What? Shut the fuck up, Merlinus. You don't belong in this world. The ones leading the revolution are High Chancellor Wards and Lord Arcardo. They have captured King Mordred. 
They also say they plan to divide the dominion of the continent between Bern and Etruria, the two strongest nations in the Lieb joining forces. Is General Cecilia all right? And what about Princess Guinevere? We don't have any information currently, but the three Etrurian generals have parted ways and are working separately. Mage General Cecilia has fled Aquil Aquileia. <laughs> Such a hard word to say. Fled Aquileia for the Misser Peninsula in the southwest. It's not hard to say, it's just hard to read. And the other generals? They're with, the, they're with the revolutionaries against their will because the king was taken hostage. We need to contact General Cecilia. Princess Guinevere, please be safe. You got the armads! Skeda beam bada boom! So this was the shortest chapter ever. Alright, um... Well, <laughs> I guess this is just a short episode. Maybe we'll be appended to the next one, who knows. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm Von Farnight, and I'll be signing out. Uh, have a good day, everyone. Like if you like it, comment if you have something to say, and uh, subscribe if you're a fan. Goodbye, see you next time.